Hey, hey, this is Kara Chase of Chase Digital and karachase.com, and I am going to show you how to very quickly set up a Pinterest segment in your Google Analytics so you can have a better understanding of your traffic and what's coming from Pinterest and where they're going. So when you go into your Google Analytics account, you want to look at your all website data. And typically, if you don't have any segments set up, you're just going to see this all users. And you can click through here and start drilling down, and a lot of that information is really useful. But the purpose of creating a segment is so that you can see specific data overlaid in comparison to the overviews. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually, let's see if I can go back to the first of the year. Yeah. Um, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to go in and add a segment. Now, they give you, Google Analytics gives you a bunch of default um, segments like returning users, referral traffic, search traffic, and a lot of these are really interesting and you could totally click around um, and check it out. Um, I might not want some of these. You can copy or, you know, do other actions, edit them, whatever. But what we're interested in, and you can see that I've already set this up, and I am going to edit this so I can show you exactly what it looks like. And I'm going to create a second one so you can see how to do it from scratch. So the first thing I want to do is go here and say the acquisition is from the source containing either pinterest.com referral or pinterest.com social. Um, and you want to make sure that these are selected as such. So uh, I also want to do any user interaction. So this is anybody that's come from Pinterest either first time or multiple times. You can do it by sessions, you can do it by users, include or exclude. This is just a very typical filter setup, but it lets you um, do this custom sequence and you can save it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. And it automatically adds it as an overlay onto the rest of your data. But I want to do another one. So I'm going to do a new segment. And you can see all this stuff in here. You could get really um, fine-tuned here as far as what you're looking for. So I want to say first time from Pinterest. I want to do it by traffic source again. Hang on one sec. Okay, so you want to go down here to sequences, include, and again, I, I, you could look at all of these options in here. You could spend weeks adding custom segments um, as far as what you're interested in. But again, I'm going to go with source and median contains Pinterest.com referral. And source medium contains Pinterest social. And I want to make sure that this is the first time from Pinterest. I'm going to go ahead and save that. So now this is these two segments are going to um, and I think this needs to populate. These two segments are going to be overlaid on all data. So if I go into behavior, landing pages, I can see that this is the amount of traffic that I get from all my users, and this is the amount of traffic that I've gotten from Pinterest. 
and it actually breaks it down by the landing page. So this is my home page. This is my viral pin um, that does really well. These are some of my other opt-ins, um, social media for network marketing. So it's really cool to be able to layer these segments on top of each other um, so you can see what's coming from Pinterest. Now, this is limitless. You could do this from Facebook. You could do this from your ads. I have this set up for one of my clients for her Shopify site. So I can see which products in her store are being bought from Pinterest. So that is how to quickly set up a segment in Google Analytics so you can get a little more data and wrap your head around what traffic you're getting from where and how it's affecting your business. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you later.